the trash. How can you categorize all men? Hi everyone, and welcome to my video on why all men aren't trash and how to stop attracting toxic men. That's what you want to avoid. These tips will literally save you so much time, so much energy, so much emotional baggage. You will be in abundance of good quality men after this video. <sighs> to all the women that say all men are trash, are all men trash? Or are you just attracting trashy men? Because all men aren't trash. Just the ones you're attracting. Now I hate to call you out. I've been there. I've been there. So I'm here to tell you it's not true. You're just attracting the wrong ones. I'm gonna be telling you in this video how to stop doing that. How to stop attracting the toxic ones. And how to start attracting good, high quality, loving, kind men. By saying all men are trash all the time and watching videos about how all men are trash and perpetuating that thought pattern in your mind, you are just creating that belief system. You are reaffirming it to yourself. You're hearing it from other people because the algorithm, the algorithm is dedicated to you, okay? If you look to my algorithm, I just see poetry men, hopeless romantics. I started attracting hopeless romantic men. All men are trash is inherently an affirmation. And if you're at all spiritual, or if you've looked at the science of how much affirmations truly impact your subconscious, you're literally training your subconscious to look out for trashy men because you've created that belief system. It's not a truth. You need to look at your wounds to start with. Attachment style, trauma, bad relationship, limiting beliefs, daddy issues. Like, uh, listen, was it your dad? I never attracted toxic men. But I've attracted avoiding attachment style men for years. That was my type, apparently. That's all I attracted, avoiding attachment styles. So that was not good. That didn't end well. But I've never attracted toxic men. I've never attracted narcissistic men. Why? Because I grew up in a household where that was not part of my belief system. Now, if you grew up in childhood with the belief system of all men are trash, maybe you just had one parent figure, whatever the case may be, only you will know when you look into your wounds. But I always knew that men were decent. I just had this belief system, yeah, okay, I know there's toxic men out there, but I know there's more good men. That belief was ingrained in me. Therefore, my subconscious only looked out for decent men. I knew when men say all women are toxic, all women are hoes, I'm not a hoe, I'm not toxic. Therefore, if they're saying all women are toxic, all women are hoes, all women are cheaters, and I'm not, I know, therefore, if all women are saying all men are fuck boys, all men are cheaters, that can't be true. They can't all be cheaters, they can't all be fuckboys because for women they're saying the same thing and I'm not. And I'm looking for someone like me, but in a man. It doesn't make sense to group all men and all women in one category. They're a whole gender. There's got to be some variety. I'm not perfect. I used to attract avoidant attachment style men until I was 23. But I didn't put the blame on men. I didn't think all men don't want to commit. I turned that back on me because I knew that I was attracting them. I was the one that was attracting them. I could see other people in happy relationships. So I knew it must be me. And this is the thing that I think most women don't do. They blame everyone else. They think, oh man, it's not me, it's not me. Take some accountability, it is you. I decided to heal my wounds, to heal my attachment style, to heal my belief systems. I then stopped attracting avoidant attachment style men. It was me! I'm the problem! <laughs> what you focus on expands. Focus on the toxic. That's all you'll see. Not just in the law of attraction, in the freaking TikTok algorithm. If you start liking the videos of toxic men, that's all you're gonna see. You're gonna be on the toxic men algorithm of other women complaining about how all men are toxic. You have to affirm the other. 
You have to break this cycle. Set yourself standards. How do you want to be treated? Only accept this in men. You have to drop the belief system that this isn't gonna happen for me. My standards are too high. I can't get it. That's only in fairy tales. Listen, you create your reality. Consume content that is affirming the princess treatment. You'll soon get on that princess treatment algorithm. There are people out there, there are relationships out there that are getting the princess treatment. You need to surround your subconscious with that. And if you want to get the princess treatment, I urge you to work on yourself first. You need to become the type of woman that is high value, that is worthy of receiving the princess treatment from a man. If you are in a space where you're thinking all men are toxic, you're going to have a little guard up. You're going to be like, mm, I don't know. You need to let that go. You need to be in the vibration of receiving. That is in your feminine energy. When you've got the guard up, you're not receiving. You're like, I don't know if I want this. I don't know. You've got to open up. And when you become in your feminine, that is when men want to give to you. Because you are in the vibration of receiving. It's like a magnet. The yin and yang of the masculine and feminine dynamic. How I stopped attracting avoid attachment style men. And started attracting men that love women. Men who are gentlemen and givers. Always pay for the drinks, even as friends. I expect them to. That's it. You've just got to expect, you've got to be in that belief system of of course men want to give to me. Of course men want to pay for the drinks for me. Of course men are gentlemanly towards me and that's the vibration you step into the vibration you give off is how other people treat you it's like internal confidence when you have this confidence of i take no bs people can feel that you know people can feel that and they can't mess you around i had to actually decide to learn about what men look for in a woman not just any man a high quality masculine man what do masculine men look for in a woman? And I became that. Not because, oh, I want to appease men. I want to attract a decent guy. So what do I got to do to attract a decent guy? Become a decent woman. All you feminists saying, I don't want to do anything for a man. Well, how do you expect him to do anything for you? You're just going to sit there and just piss him off? A relationship is a two-way thing. The man is the giver, the woman is the receiver. Being a decent human being and helping him achieve his goals and giving him what he needs to thrive as a man. And then he can give to you what you need to thrive as a woman. What do men look for in a woman? I'm going to give you a few tips. Softness. Doesn't mean weakness. There's a difference. Elegance. Don't dress like a hoe. Don't be too provocative. Now, am I saying you never get your tits out? No. Men love tits. But there's a difference between subtly accentuating that area and your nipples half out. It's see-through. But another thing is actions speak louder than words anyway. Your visual is one thing and it's very important thing, especially for men. I hate to say it, but men are visual creatures. Women are more intellectual and what can the man bring? Men do love the visual and that's how they get attracted to you. So it's very important. However, the thing that differentiates fuckboys from looking at the visual and high class men looking at the visual is the high class men also look for your vibration, your standards. How do you come off? How do you present yourself? For example, I used to be sort of a people pleaser in relationships. I would always make time for him, cancel my other plans so I could see him. And you know what? He never made time for me. He canceled last minute, took me for granted. He knew I'd always be there. And this isn't him being toxic. It's he's responding to my energy and my vibration. He just knew that it didn't matter what he did. I'd always be there, I'd always come back for more because that's the energy I was in. And I know you've experienced this before with men or even friends or even family. You knew it doesn't matter how much you fucked up, they would always be there. You still love them, you still love them. You still like spending time with them, but you knew it didn't really matter. You didn't have to hold yourself to your standards. 
because they didn't have any. Now I have my standards and the man has to pursue me. If he's not pursuing me, I'm not chasing him. I'm not chasing him. He needs to pursue me. I'll back off. I'll back off. If he starts chasing me then, that's great. We love that. Otherwise, I'm wasting my time. When a man pursues, he's in his masculine. He plans the dates. He's courting you. He is the man. When I see a man that doesn't meet my standards, I give him a chance to redeem himself and he still doesn't. I know there are a plethora, thousands of men that are willing to give me what I want, what I need, what I deserve. There's an abundance of men that are willing to do that. So just because I like this one, doesn't mean there's no more. There are thousands of other guys that will respect me, respect my time and give me that masculine pursue courtmanship that I desire. Just because I like him, that's not enough. And this is how you stop accepting below the minimum or toxic behavior. When you know there is so many good guys out there, you won't accept this. You won't accept this behavior. Say you've got a stray dog on the street and it's skinny and it's homeless and it's starving. You'll give it some crappy food, hairs on it. You'll just eat it because it's so hungry. Then you've got your dog at home. I don't know when I've had a dog, it won't accept crap. My dog was like turning its nose up at this dry dog food crap because it's got its standards. It's used to fresh meat or whatever you feed your dog. It's got its standards, it's used to that. It knows if it turns this dry food down, it knows inevitably it will get better food. It's the same with men. If you turn down the rubbish, inevitably God will give you what you deserve. When you start believing there's good men out there, you'll start attracting good men. And when you start attracting good men, you will gain this strong belief system that there is an abundance of good men. It's like a cycle. The more you see it, the more you believe it. But you've got to believe it first. And I'm here to tell you it's true, so believe me. I recommend following true masculinity pages, not red pill, not red pill, that's not the same thing. Traditional values pages, homestead pages. I'll leave some in the comments below if you do want some recommendations because there you will see all the high quality men just following that one Instagram page. There are men out there, men wanting to be the best man that they can be to provide for their woman. If there's one thing you need to take away from this video is it is not men, it's you. I know this is cliche, but you need to be the type of person that the man of your dreams wants. Do you need to heal your attachment style? Are you dressing in a way that is giving off a different vibe than the one that you want? Listen, if you are dressing like a hoe, you're gonna attract fuckboys. That is literally the way it is. The way you dress is the way you give off yourself. Your visual clothing is the first perception someone has of you. It's the first judgment they make of you. This is why you see goth girls and their boyfriend is also dressing goth. It is nine out of 10 times their boyfriend is dressing in a similar way. So if you're dressing like a hoe, why would a traditional value, a conservative dressing man want you? It doesn't make sense. A secure man does not want a girl that dresses like a hoe. Despite what feminism says, oh, a secure man wouldn't care what I dress like. Well, if he's a secure man, he's gonna want a secure woman. What? Listen, I think you've got to dig a bit deeper. Why are you dressing like a hoe? Why are you dressing like a hoe? It's what you've got to ask yourself. A secure man wants a secure woman, and a secure woman doesn't go out dressing like a hoe for male validation. I said what I said. Here I am, I'm telling you the truth. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, guys. Make him feel like a man. Don't emasculate him. You are not in competition with your man. You are the prize. You're not in competition, he's trying to win you. 
So I really hope this video has helped you and instilled a little bit more belief that there are good men out there. Given you a bit of kick up the arse. Do it out of love, okay? I love you guys and I just want the best for you. I've done this to myself. I've asked myself, I've kicked myself up the arse. Even if that's possible, I don't think it is. I've done this to myself to improve myself and create opportunities for me to meet more quality men. So I just want to help you. I hope it has helped you. If it has helped you, please like, subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!